Hi, this is Philip Straub. I'm the art director on War in the North, uh, and today we're going to be talking about art direction for the game, specifically uh, environment development and character development. The thing that was really interesting for the team was to go into essentially uncharted territory, to take Middle Earth and look at what's been created before, and to expand upon that. We start with basic storyboards for each environment, trying to figure out how we can pull out what I essentially call the character of the environment. Something that is really important for us is to create a sense of epic cinematic scale in some of the environments. And then, as you progress through the game, to make sure that we strategically place, in contrast, areas where there's more claustrophobia, just to create visual variety. We also use color and atmosphere to ensure that each environment has its own personality, its own character. Barrowdowns is a really good example of us using atmosphere and accentuating the idea of character within the environment. Throughout that environment, there is a living fog. This fog that moves in and around all of the locations and moves in and around the player really helps to accentuate the idea of the environment being alive. Character design is also a really critical part of the art direction process. As you guys know, within the RPG space, customization is a really important part of the gameplay. In our game, each of the player characters has over a thousand potential costume variations that they can put together. We've applied specific materials and color palettes to each race that always look good regardless of the numerous variations that can be applied. They always look like they make sense for each character and they always look of high quality. Thanks so much for your interest in the art direction process that we're using here when we're in the North. We're super excited to be putting together environments and characters that create an emotional response for our fans.